right, welcome back everybody. Kathy Arbor here and today on Tuesday Watercolor we're going to be doing a cute little elf and he's stealing marshmallows out of your chocolate, hot chocolate. You ever wonder, you know, you put your marshmallows in, you go get a cookie or something and you come back and they're gone? And all this time you've been thinking they melted. Nope. This is a marshmallow thief. <laughs> so we're going to paint uh, this cute little marshmallow thief. And we're you can paint yours whatever color you want. I think I'm going to paint mine with a blue cup. <laughs> hey, Lena. Um, Michelle, hi. And I think I'm going to have a striped little jumper that um, <laughs> they're going to be wearing. And uh, it's got a candy cane, um, little Christmas hat. So the uh, printable is uh, already up in the members, and that's in the YouTube membership. And also I have a Patreon, and you'll find the links of, to those down below. Some people are having problems with the YouTube. If you're on an Apple product, they can't seem to find the uh, link or the button. So that's why I put it up on Patreon. So you can go there if you would rather Patreon. Um, so it's up for all levels. So you can download that, change it to whatever size you want. Hey Dot, good to see you. So I just thought I'd uh, show you what we did last Thursday. We did this cute little cow, and this is paper piecing. And uh, it was from the book of uh, paper painting by Elizabeth St. Hillary, Hillary, or I think, oh boy. I can never remember her name, just a minute. I got the book here. There, it was from this book here. And that's her name down there. Great book. I love her art. And this is a really good book if you want to try this style of painting. Um, you can do whatever you want with these. Um, you could even make this into a Christmas cow if you wanted to and just put some holly on his head or something. Um, it's Kathy Arbor on Patreon, Michelle. Uh, there should be a link down below. I did put a link in the description. Or one of the uh, mods could um, find it on Patreon and just put the link in the chat, if you will. So that was our, that was fun. And it didn't take that long. Um, last Tuesday we did this little bird here and it was with uh, watercolor and color pencil. I didn't use any black marker. Hi Xandra! I'm on, oh, uh, Xandra, can you find my Patreon link and put it up in chat for me, please? Uh, Michelle would like to, to uh, find it. So this is our little guy. So I've already traced it off of the uh, printable. And... Um, We're going to do a blue mug. So you could do whatever you want. And where's my mug? There they are. So this is just plain sketchbook paper. It's, um, it's a little better than your copy paper that we did this one on. It's a little thicker. Takes water a little bit um, better. Hey, Janet. We're doing the marshmallow thief. <laughs> You thought your marshmallows melted? No! This little guy stole them. <laughs> That's his story. Thanks, uh, Sandra. 
they are. So get out your paints and paint along, or you can just watch and um, paint it later. So we'll start off, you always start lightest to darkest. Um, so I'm going to start off with my little cup here and what I decided is a nice blue. So maybe hmm, we could do an, an aqua blue. That would be kind of nice. This one's or a cobalt teal. This is Coors cobalt teal. It's a really pretty color. So let's do it in that. So I'm going to load up my area here. I like to um, put it on my palette first before putting it on to my painting. Just so that I can change the, uh, the um, amount of water which changes the color. It'll either get lighter with more water or if you have more pigment it gets darker. So I always start light. So I'm just going to get some water on my brush. Now if you're using watercolor paper, uh, it'll spread. You could actually just color your whole area with water and then just drop the color in. Uh, I'm just going to put it on wet into dry. And I'm going, these are little marks from the hot chocolate that's dripping. So I'm just going to paint around those. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Super cold here. Uh, got a bit of snow, but not a whole lot. But it's, it is cold. So we're into the cold time of year now, I think. But you never know, the weather's been so weird. It gets cold, then it warms up, gets cold had freezing rain, snow, <laughs> snow squalls. Oh my gosh, very strange weather this year. Um, this is part of his wing here. Actually, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a little better. There you go. Should be able to see a little better now. Hey Lisa! Hey Colleen! <laughs> this is a, so cute and you can do in whatever you want. I'm just doing this one in watercolor but all these paintings or drawings that I've given you can be done in any medium really. Um, you could get your acrylics out, pastels, whatever. That's the top rim. I'm going to do that in blue too, but I'm just going to do it very light. And I want this little elf to show up quite a bit, so I'm going to do my elf um, probably in a black and white striped <laughs> jumpsuit. <laughs> but I'm going to give him a red, let's see, red or green, red hat. Black and white jumpsuit maybe. Red or black. Shoes, boots. Devin. Okay, while that's drying, I'm gonna the foam of the chocolate would be a little bit on the hmm, I'm gonna use burnt sienna by core here. I'm just gonna put some over here and it just a really light color of it. 
and just do the rim here. This is just a really easy one to do. It's not multi layers or anything. You do need a fairly pointed brush or a smaller brush if you've got one. This is a number eight. But it's got a really nice point on it. Just go around the marshmallows because they'll be kind of a cream color. And then a little bit in the center of this drip. Don't do the whole drip though. Um, leave most of the top along the rim. And this drip here, we'll just do just around the edge. Leave the uh, center and that will be your highlight. I'm trying to finish some paperwork. <laughs> and there's a little bit on the ground here. And I'm just going to do it fairly light. You can also take a Posca pen or uh, a white um, colored pencil to make your highlights too if you don't want to leave the paper color. Just around those marshmallows. It's a very, very Alright, so because this is scrapbook, or not scrapbook, but sketching paper, I'm going to dry it. These also would be um, great for gouache if you want to do it in gouache or even colored pencil. So just play with them and see what you can do with them. Alright, so now I'm going to do probably some mid-tones, so a little bit of uh, that teal again, but a little thicker, a little darker. And I'm going to put some mid-tones in. So there would be kind of, it's shiny, so you you kind of want to put, um, there's mid-tones, highlights, and shadows. If you can just do those three, you don't have to get really intricate into sub-colors and different shadows and all that. Just those three things will be quite enough for to get the realistic look and um, you don't have to do them really fancy so the mid-tones would be kind of in the center here um, there'd be a little bit more of a darker tone around her body because she'd be shadowing the cup a little bit. Um, there'll be some in the handle of course so let's do some of the handle. Let's 
the handle would be a little bit right here. And halfway down that curve. And a little bit right here. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a, a bit. And then inside the cup, we're just do a few lines going down. Like that. All right, so let's do, while we're at it, some heavy, more of a dark, dark. Uh, I'm just going to see if this is going to be good enough. I might have to add a little bit of a darker color. Yeah, it's too similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ultramarine blue, French ultramarine blue, to this mix. And it's just going to change that up. make it a little bit darker. I'll show you. So right in here, and then right along the rim here, you leave the rim light. Just go around that drip, and then just take the side of your brush and sweep it down. I want around the drip though. And then around the bottom. And I'm going to put, um, I'm not going to go inside that wing, I'm just going to do kind of the outline of her. So her little um, arm there, down here, just slightly, and then around her forearm, like that. It's kind of a shadow. A little bit of a shadow under that grip area, like that. And then just curve it because your your cup is curved, so it's going to have a curved shadow. And then a little bit in here around that rim. And then right in the corner. There's a little bit there. And then just put a few lines there like that. And take some and do a really dark thin line under that handle. And just along the edge of that cup there. I'm going to put that a little bit darker. Just a smidge, and underneath. Oh, I had too much coffee today. <laughs> now where that light part is right here, or mid-tone, I think I'm going to take some of that out. If you have um, regular watercolor paper, you can just wet your brush and scrub it, and then just pat it with a paper towel, and it'll soften that up a little bit. This is scrapbook paper, so it's not or not scrapbook paper, sketch paper, so it's not going to do that. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more color to that. This here would have a little bit of a shadow on the edge of that puddle. So I'm just going to do that on one side. I 
like that. And you can do the same for the other drip. Just on the bottom, just put a little bit darker. And I'm going to get some more of that. And just right around the very edge of the cough or hot chocolate, I'm just going to put this dark line. And around here. And then there's a few little lines you can put. It's just showing some of those um, swirls in the hot chocolate. And then I'm just going to take some on my brush and I'm going to dab in this white area that I left. And that's the foam. You can dab in, in going into the, a little bit of that lighter sienna color too. Just a bit. And we can also add a little bit darker. So you want light, medium, and dark. you want you can do this in pen like that and then let's dry that again Now the marshmallows, they can actually be done in a grayish color too. Um, so if you mix a little bit of um, raw sienna or burnt umber with that blue, it'll gray it down. You want it fairly light. You don't want it really dark. So add some water to your brush. And then you just decide where you want your shadows to be. So if it's coming down from here, from the top, um, your top of your marshmallows are going to be white. But the, the very center, I'm going to put a little bit of... Um, shadow and if they're overlapping there'd be shadow this one is on its side so it's going to have a little bit more shadow on it and then here this one's on its side and that one's on its side and there this would have shadow on the edges because it's this center part is the highest point so it would be catching the um, light more than the, the other areas and around her hand that's about it there just gonna take a 
little bit of that up just a smidge. Lighten it up a bit. Taking some of that out. It will dry lighter. So you have to remember that. And I might use some of that to darken even more of the cup too. Now the little guy or girl <laughs> whatever you want it to be I'm going to do a red hat, so I like that um, Alizarin Crimson by M. Graham. It's a beautiful red for Christmas. It's almost on the um, blue-red blue side. But I want to have it fairly, not too um, dark all at once. So I'm just going to go and put a coat around the whole thing except for where the white fluffy balls would be. And again, if you're using watercolor paper, you can wet the area first and then just dot it in and it will bloom into your wet area. Like that. And what else? The candy cane is going to be red and white. So I'm going to put the red parts in. You can change the different color red if you want. It doesn't have to be the same red. It could be more on the orangey side. I might put some green striping in it too. Sometimes you see that in candy canes. A thin green line. They're cute. And I think I'm going to give them red boots. The soles will be darker though. So we'll just, most of it's red, but the soles we keep probably black. So these are cute little elves that you can uh, use for cards or just to color, whatever. All right, let's see. And we may as well do his face. His face, let's see. We may as well use the alizarin crimson. And we'll add a little bit of yellow. Mix up a color here. Maybe a little bit of blue to that mix there. So I, I like using a red, a yellow, and just a tad of cerulean blue, and that'll give you a nice skin tone. Uh, that might be a, too close to the, we'll see. Keep it light. Or add a little bit more red to it, make it more pink. It's pretty close to the color of um, that cocoa. Let's give them some red cheeks and we'll give them kind of reddish hands because they'll be hot from dipping in the hot cocoa. <laughs> yeah. Sneaking those marshmallows. No imp. Let's 
dry that and see what it looks like. Hey Sam, thanks. There's the face. So see, it's kind of blending in, so we might have to outline it maybe a little bit with some sienna. We'll see. We'll work it out. All right, so let's put on his little jumper leotard thing. <laughs> So I'm going to do black. Now, we could just do that in pan or marker. Now, what I'm going to do though, and you it's up to you, you can you don't have to do this. I'm going to take a um, graphite pencil and I'm going to put in the lines how I want it to run. So, um, I'm going to have the lines curved slightly uh, going in the direction of his body. So with his legs it'll be curved a little bit around think of it, the form of his body. get to the butt cheeks. <laughs> I'm spacing them as even as I can. showing because this is uh, when you can show the shapes of his body. So if I want his butt to show, it'll be more on the rounded side. I got the just let's see. Kind of have to play with it a bit. All right, I'm gonna just take a waterproof marker pen. Let's see, get one that's fairly thick. number five and then we can still um, add shadows to this but I want the lines put in first and then we'll shadow the uh, body area with a light grayish color I go over top of the wings because the wings are going to be um, transparent. Uh, 
then I could just erase once this is dry. You can make them as wide as you want or as small as you want. Just make it yours. Do your own thing. It doesn't have to be like mine. You could give them polka dots too. It'd be cute. Whatever you want. A little sleeve here. Like that. I guess he would have like that. Okay. Well, I may as well do the wings. The wings can be um, outlined also. I like them a little bit darker on the where it attaches to their body. It gets thicker. And then as it goes down it thins out. And we'll put some of that awesome sun gold from Xandra. I love that stuff. It's perfect for the wings. Take your time. You can make them, you know, as detailed as you want. And the bottom of his shoes, may as well do that black too. I'm just going to color it in. May as well. Now with his little furry hat, we can do it two different ways. You can either um, put a light gray on and then take your Posca markers and make um, dots, or you can use a light gray dotting um, on it. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. You can do it either way. I'll just put some of this gray that I have, this bluey gray color. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate the dots on the bottom area. Because that would be the shadiest part. And then just um, work a few into the middle and top. But most of it will be on the bottom. We just put a few in the center and then most of this is on the bottom. I just take it and run a little bit on the very, very, very bottom. Uh, actually, you could probably put a little bit on the, between the, the hat and the fluff just to Give that a little bit of a shadow in there. Like 
Đó. <laughs> Probably has come from jail, but he just doesn't learn. I'm gonna put a little bit in the side his little sleeve there. Um, some of it in his hat beyond the bottom would be darker. Just a few little dabs. Like that. And then when you're doing his body, you can use the same color. And along the inside where his tummy is would be darker. So just put a little line of this down his leg, all the way down, but small amount. And then in his shoes, around his shoe, the bottom, where his leg goes in to his boot or shoe or whatever it is. <laughs> and then his um, little butt here can have some, need a little bit more. Let's see. And the inside of his leg here would be darker. Then under his arm, and just on the very bottom part of his sleeve there. And then here too, bottom of his sleeve, would be darker. Now I'm going to put a little bit under his hat, where his face is, along the back of his hat there. So it would be shadowed. Like that. And then along his chin line here, just a bit. Just to show he's got a little chin. And let's see what else. Probably just on the sides of his shoes here would be a little bit darker, not much. Have more on the patches of drips. Now, on the bottom of the cup, too, would be a shadow. So, we want to make that up. And just underneath the cup. Right here, and put a shadow in. Okay, and then I'm going to just swipe here to show some kind of. Uh, in here. As he does his feet wing, wing get colored in the blue. His feet wings? His left wing. Oh yes, yes it should. I just haven't done it 
yeah, light, well, kind of a light blue. It wouldn't be, don't do it too dark because we want to put that gold on. But yeah, thanks for uh, reminding me. Okay, and then that gray again will go on the um, underside of this candy cane. Like that, and underneath here. And just a little bit down the side. We'll keep the, um, it's kind of tilted, so we'll keep the shadows um, more on the center because it's tilted. Like that. Okay, and then we take that beautiful uh, what was it? it's called Sun Gold and Xandra's um, got it in her shop. I love this stuff. It's amazing. It's so sparkly. And it's great. It really shows up in camera, which surprised me. And I just coat right over top of everything. Get more water. I just do the whole thing. Nice thick. I like it fairly thick. I would do that last though, because um, when you clean your brush, you'll ha there's a lot of sparkle in this, <laughs> and if you um, use your water from where you cleaned and use it on any paint, you'll have sparkles in your paint, <laughs> and it'll be in everything. <laughs> finally have a drawing I like. My fairy is fatter with a bigger butt. That's good. He's eating too many marshmallows. That's what you get. <laughs> All right. So there he is so far. You see how the, I don't know, can I get that to show? I might need to dry first before you see that gold. I might put in a second coat. I love that stuff. It's so sparkly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a little bit... I'm going to get some Payne's Gray and mix some brown with it just to get it a little darker. And I'm just going to go on the very bottom here. It needs, I think it needs to be darker because it's a fairly dark shadow right on the very edge of that cup. It'll be dark like that. And under his foot, you could put some of this in. Just to show it up a little bit. I think. And let's see. Maybe in here a little bit. Darken it up. That needs to be a little bit 
darker. Just along the edge there because it would be shadowed by the cup. So that needs to be a little darker. Just a smidge. You could also put a, a few little lines from the ripples in the water, in the cocoa. And we'll add some highlights too. And right there along the edge. Okay, and I'm going to make a really thin amount and use it on the back of his hat. It would be a little darker right here. I'm getting kind of picky, but that's what I like. <laughs> Maybe a few more on here. A little bit. You can do this in pen, too, if you wanted to. And... And maybe a little bit more on those um, dark areas of the cup. Like right in here would be fairly dark. So right in here. Just want this a little bit darker. Like that. should do it. Oh, oh thanks, Devin. Yeah, paint along, paint with Kathy Arbor. I don't know why I keep saying paint along. Paint with Kathy Arbor. If, if you post it, I'd love to see them. I love seeing what you guys do and how you make it your own. I think it's cool. Like Kathy and um, Colleen, how they made their cows their own don't have to do exactly what I do. I love it when you guys find your own way of creating. That's how you find your style, by thinking outside the box. So let's try that again. pencils. Let's get a, a white Prisma. I'm 
I'm just going to add some um, highlights. I might need, this might not be dark or bright enough. No, it's not. Um, but I want just a highlight down the center of the candy cane. And with his hat, I just want kind of a little bit of highlight on the top part mostly of his little hat. kind of scribbly because it's fuzzy like it's a velvet hat so just a bit and maybe tops of his, um, heels of his shoes um, highlight can go here just a little bit of white I'm gonna get uh, Posca and do um, a bright white mark. If I can find it. Alright, I'll put it. Okay, put it in here. Oh, there it is. It's in my pencil. Yeah, it doesn't always work out. They, that's the, um, that's how it works. Um, when, especially when you haven't uh, been doing too much of this type of art, doesn't always work out the first time. But um, that's normal. That's how artists learn. That's most artists when they do a painting, um, do it over and over again. They don't just do it once and it's exactly the way they want it. So don't get discouraged. That's just a normal practice and it's just not because you're not um, experienced. It happens with artists too. You just have to play with it. I guess there's not a whole lot of uh, color to dis see it a lot, but there's a bit. But put it in anyways. Highlight this area here. The top. Maybe put a little bit more in here. I'm just going to scribble. I'm going to put a little shine on his hand, just so it's a little more noticeable. Maybe on his cheek here. Just give him a little bit of a glow on his cheek and forehead. That will make him show up a little bit. And on the tops of his hands. Maybe his neck. Yeah, I'll put a little bit on his neck. Maybe on the tops parts of the chocolate spilled. <laughs> um, now we need to put in his little um, line of stitching on his hat. And 
I just did little dots and then connected the dots with a line. And just made them smaller as you go up, narrower. Curve them. They don't have to be straight, it can be curved. It gives it more appeal. Let's see, I'm going to darken his chin a little bit. Just darken some of this underneath his arm. Just to, it, it helps it um, stand out a little more where the shadows would be. There's a little butt. Okay. And I'm going to put some more on the bottom of the cup. in here. Like that. Okay. And a little more dots in the cocoa. In the lighter areas. Like that. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Cute. Oh yeah, I was going to put um, green in the candy cane. Let's see. Any more one? <laughs> I love your cow, Kim. It was awesome. I loved them. I like how you guys just <laughs> change them up and put your own flair in it. It is so awesome. Okay. I'm just going to put some green in here. Like that a little different than your typical. I'm going to add some more of that gold, sun gold, and make it a little thicker. I like this gold because you can see through it. I would love to get some of that, um, what is it, pale gold by Kramer? Do you make that, um, Xandra? I'd love some of that.
and the silver. Here. See how it shimmers? I don't know if you can see that or not. It's so awesome. I love it. All right. So let's dry that. Bye, Devin. Good luck with Costco. <laughs> pages too. If I'm mixed media, I love doing all kinds. I have a bunch of sequins and <laughs> stuff. Why not use some of this stuff? Um, I think I got these from the dollar store. They're, they're little um, snowflakes and little snowballs. <laughs> um, so you could like, these are cool. Why not put some of these on? There's trees, there's all kinds of... And just stick them on with uh, glue or hot glue gun or whatever you got. I think they're cute. Or you could, um, if you have a die cut for them, that would be cool too. I like mirrored ones. So let's see, I got some hmm, Faber Tac or let's see what I got. I got some gel medium here. Just put a dab on my finger. Just throw them on. Why not? I usually use them. One, two, three, four. I like having odd numbers. Let's see, where else can we put one? Here, maybe. Oh. There. There. Little mirrored snowflakes. That's cute. Along with her cute little uh, wings, so like I like it. And don't forget to sign your work. And today is the seventh. So I hope you've played along and um, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, paint with Kathy Arbor. And we'll uh, give me some um, other ideas for <laughs> doing elves or maybe you want grown, uh, oh, what are they called? Um, Groans? I can't think.
Are, are you on uh, Instagram? Are? <laughs> I like them. I think they're cute. So if you guys want to see any different things, little mischief makers, give me some ideas of what they're getting into and I'll draw them up and we'll do them. Gnomes? Gnomes. <laughs> Gnomes. <laughs> That's my dyslexia. <laughs> Gnomes. I just like the fairies because uh, everybody seems to be, be doing the gnomes. Yeah, I can do a few though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this was a fairly short one, but as you can see, they're quick because there's not a whole lot of layers. It's, it's kind of like doing um, color pencil, probably even faster than color pencil, but just play with them and uh, print out a few of them and see what you can do with them. Maybe try some in um, acrylic paint. I think they'd be cool in acrylic paint too. I might just do um, make up a few for the uh, acrylic paint too. Um, I will be doing another snowman uh, if I can find my book. I had a book that I had permission to use their patterns, which was Between the Vines Christmas, number two, I think it was. But I can't find my book. So, um, but I do have a couple of my own patterns, so I might be doing that too. An orchid elf. Oh, that could be interesting, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to I'll write that down. Orchid elf. I have a paper here. Okay. But yeah, play with them. See what you can do. You think kind of think of even try draw your own. Uh, I did a little video a couple weeks back of how to draw and what I do. So I normally think of a a story or or um, a situation. Um, oh, Patreon won't let me download the Elf. Seems to think. Oh, you'll have to go into your regular. Um, it, Patreon is for a separate. I only put that up for people that were unable to get onto the um, YouTube. You're on YouTube, Dot. So um, it's on the community page in YouTube. So if you go on there on the membership community page, you'll find it there. Yeah, you can't be on both. You have to be one or the other. So if you'd rather be on Patreon, you can switch to Patreon and cancel the um, YouTube join. So look, look in the uh, YouTube community page on my main um, page dot and you'll see it there. You'll see community or membership and you can go on that. And just press on that and it'll take you to what memberships you're on and then you just click on um, which one you want to go see. Alrighty. So if you got any suggestions put them in the uh, comments area down below and then I'll uh, see what I can draw up. It'll be fun. I like doing these little guys. <laughs> but I like finding a story usually in this one. Was the uh, disappearing marshmallows that you thought melted? No, they snuck them.
All right, so I'll let you guys go, and you have a fantastic um, week. We'll see you on Thursday. Um, not sure. I'm going to do acrylic, but I'm not sure which. The snowman, or I was thinking of illuminated letter to a D for December, because it's December. I have to start my December folder, the last one of the year, and then I can put my book together. So have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you all later. Bye for now.